the great thing about poetics is that it's a field that is right at the heartbeat of literary studies. It, whenever you step into a conversation going on in the field of poetics, you're witnessing the preoccupations of literary scholars of that moment. The study of poetics is about how poetry works, and for that matter, how other kinds of literature work as well. Like ethics and political science, it's one of the disciplines invented in the West by Aristotle, and it has a rich tradition in Eastern cultures as well. We might imagine the field of poetics as extending from the side, on the one hand, the side that borders linguistics, that deals with meter, rhythm, sound, all the way to the other side of the field that deals with uh, the function of poetry in history and society. And I'm interested in the whole span from, from one side to the other. When we study poems, we're studying um, meaning made. When we study poetics, we're studying how that meaning is made. We're, in a sense, uh, opening up the workings and exposing them to view and trying to figure out exactly how the poem, if it's a poem, how the poem was put together and how it, how it, how it works, how it succeeds or fails. I work on poetry from the very end of the Middle Ages, from the era of, uh, of Francis Petrarch, who died in 1374, all the way through to the present. To me, this is one story. Uh, it is the story of a, a multifarious Western poetry in a variety of languages that uh, witnesses the invention of uh, what we, the kind of romantic love expressed in poetry, the kind of sub subjectivity expressed in poetry that we now take for granted. I am attracted to questions that uh, can be answered by uh, putting together uh, perhaps figures that conventional literary history keeps apart or uh, poems of different times and places and languages that perhaps might seem to have little to do with each other and I'm interested in trying to get them into a conversation. And as an experiment I put together Allen Ginsberg who was the leading figure in the the beat movement in the United States with um, Aroldo de Campos who is a his exact contemporary, Brazilian poet uh, of the same era. Ginsberg's poems are uh, famous for being uh, uh, seemingly casually composed, uh, profuse in their, in their uh, uh, vocabulary and uh, 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 loose in their formal arrangements. Uh, Campos's poems, by contrast, uh, appear to be almost uh, scientifically put together with uh, uh, a very clear footprint on the page, uh, very few words, uh, and those words very carefully chosen. What do those poets have in common? On the surface, they appear to be completely different. Uh, but I am interested in how poets, like in those circumstances, can actually be so different that they might actually intersect at a point of contact. I find that my own production of ideas is very much a dialogic experience. I, I read uh, and I'm in a kind of um, uh, silent conversation with what I'm reading all the time. Uh, I imagine that I'm talking back to the author of what I'm reading, uh, often objecting or, or uh, uh, imagining things that might be done differently that I would want to say differently. New ideas appear to me in the course of my reading almost always in the form of a question. And, uh, when I think of them that way, then I, I uh, questions lead to more questions. And uh, once I have a, a, a set of such questions, if they're sufficiently intriguing to me and I, and I really don't know the answer, that's when I take them to my students. And then the real dialogue starts. Those of us who study poetics are studying the making of meaning at its most elemental level. Uh, and whether it's about understanding people of the past or understanding our own contemporary culture, I think there's no better place to find insight into um, um, what people's worldview is than to study their poems and their fictions. I think that the, those are the places in which people go to seek meaning, exactly as we do when we're drawn to poems 
uh, for, for weddings, for funerals, for everything else. Uh, the most important occasions in human life generally don't pass without the presence of poems. Uh, and by that same token, I think that uh, we, we put in poems uh, those things that matter the most to us and often those things that we won't say anywhere else. So to study past or present, I think it's an indispensable uh, 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 gift to us to be able to learn about people through their poems. Mm -hmm.